Hello there, viewers. Do you often feel like you're aging disgracefully? Well, we've got a solution for you. In this video, we're going to talk about how Japanese Koragai can help you. Does it work for your forehead? What about your chin? Can it actually exercise my eyebrows? We're talking all that and more. First, let's start with the basics. What is a Japanese Koragai massage? It's a technique of facial treatment that was started by the Japanese people. Now, it's slowly gaining popularity all over the world. If you go to a professional, they'll make you sit for an hour-long session. So, why is it so effective? Contrary to popular massages, the Koragai massage focuses more on the facial muscles and not just the skin. The idea is to make your facial muscles relax, restoring them to their stronger form. The massage releases tension from your face, reduces swelling, and gets rid of smooth wrinkles. More importantly, the Koragai massage has nothing to do with the traditional rough motions. This is because the muscles and tissues on your face are slightly more fragile than the ones on your body. This is why there's a lot more emphasis on gentle motions. Your face should feel relaxed while you're going through the procedure. The massage usually involves obliterating fatty spots on your face. It may sound simple, but it's one of the most beneficial face massages that you can have. Let's take a closer look. Number 1. Forehead Massage The main goal of a forehead massage is to get rid of the forehead wrinkles that often appear as we age. First of all, one thing to keep in mind with core guys, it's all about pressure points. In this massage, you need to start from the area that is just above the brow line. Another thing to consider as core guy is the method. The way you are pressing also makes a lot of difference. In this case, you have to make your hands into fists and use the central knuckles of your fists to apply pressure. Now, start by leaning your head back a little bit and put both your fists on your forehead. Now make slow circular motions, rubbing your way from your forehead to your earlobes. Once you've reached your earlobes, continue towards your neck. By this time, you can open your fists and gently slide down to your shoulders. Make sure that you don't exceed the hairline. Be gentle with yourself, don't put too much pressure. This helps to increase the blood circulation to your face, thus replenishing blood vessels. Moving on to the next point. Number two, chin massage. For this exercise, you need to apply a little more pressure. You need four fingers for this massage, the middle and index finger of each hand. Just like the last exercise, you need to bend your fingers into the fist position. Use the index and middle finger to apply pressure around the chin area. Start from the middle and go all the way to the corners of your mouth. Make circular motions along your jawline. The idea is to press the skin upwards, and for this you have to make sure that both bent fingers that we mentioned earlier are facing upwards. This helps to lift your chin and get rid of that fat that may have accumulated. Keep doing this for a month and you'll feel the difference very soon. Just make sure that you cover your entire chin. Alright, let's go on to the third type of massage. Number 3. Eyebrow Massage after the chin and forehead, we focus on your eyes. Your eyes are the windows to the world. This is why it's important we take good care of them. Unfortunately, as we age, our vision quality suffers and we get marks near our eyes. This is where the next massage comes in. Among all of the core guy massages, the eyebrow massage is one of the simplest. All you need for this is the knuckle of your middle finger. Before you begin, close your eyes and raise your eyebrows. This will help you be more precise with the pressure point and avoid any type of harm to your eyes. Once you've done that, place your knuckle of your middle finger and make a gentle sideways motion. That's it. That's all you need to do for this massage. Keep the movement of your knuckles very slow. This will help you smoothen the scars and provide some much needed relaxation for your eyes. 
This massage is especially relevant since we spend so much time in front of the screen. Apart from that, it has also been speculated to improve your sleep. Still not motivated enough? All right, then we go on to the fourth point. Number four, cheek massage. Cheek massages are usually used for two purposes. One of them is to smoothen your cheeks and the other one is to lift your cheek. We're going to take a look at both, starting with lifting the cheek. For this procedure, you'll need to sit down in front of a table. Once you've done that, place your hands over it. Similar to the first technique, make two fists. Similar to the eyebrow massage, this is also one of the simplest massages. Coming back to the point, after making fists with your hand, you need to fold them and rest your head on your fists. Yes, that's it. That's all you need to do for cheek lifting. The procedure may be easy, but the work here is very complicated. Your cheeks contain fat. Your wrists are pushing that fat upwards. When done every day, this burns the fat present in your cheek. As a result, you get more prominent cheekbones, which can help you get that suave look. Additionally, it lets the muscles of your cheek rest a little bit. Sounds pretty cool, right? Of course, don't do this for more than five seconds or your cheeks will begin to hurt. Now, let's talk about the second purpose of cheek massage. Smoothing your cheeks. Do you covet people who have smooth, baby-like cheeks? If yes, then this is the massage for you. For this, you need to interlock your fingers. Keep your thumbs out and don't interlock them. Your thumbs are going to be very important for this massage. After that, start applying pressure on the area just below your eyes. While you're doing this, all the pressure will be exerted on your face through the side of your thumb. So for one last time, please be gentle with yourself. Depending on your preference, you can start with the right cheek moving to the left or start with the left cheek moving to the right. Unlike the previous massages where you pushed upwards, here you have to push downwards. You can make short sideways motions as well, but even in those cases, you have to move it downwards. This will once again help in elevating the blood circulation of your face, thus relaxing your face and helping you avoid acne, scars, and wrinkles. This is also effective in reducing the risk of blackheads. Apart from that, it tightens the pores of your skin. Overall, it's a win-win situation for you. Just make sure while sliding downwards, you go all the way down to the collarbone. Don't restrict it to your chin. These massages have been highly recommended by many experts. Some of them even claim that you'll be able to see results in a matter of a few months. Well, why don't you try and let us know if it worked for you? Had you heard of core guy massages before? Are you willing to try them? Let us know in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.